Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock X670E Tai Chi motherboard. As you know, AMD recently introduced their latest chipset, the X670E, as well as the B650E chipset for all their latest uh, AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors. And ASRock are among one of the first motherboard manufacturers to introduce their latest X670E chipset motherboard. And today we'll be taking a look at one of these motherboards. The ASRock X670E Tai Chi motherboard uses the latest AMD X670E chipset supporting all of the latest Ryzen 7000 processors sitting on the AM5 socket. It supports DDR5 RAM with speeds of up to DDR5's 6600 OC and it comes with two PCI 5x16 slot. It comes with a massive 24 plus 2 plus 1 phase power design with a SPS for V-Core and GT. For storage, this motherboard comes with one Blazing M.2 PCI 5x4 slot as well as three additional Hyper M.2 PCI 4x4 slot. And for connectivity, it comes with a killer 2.5 gigabit LAN as well as the killer Wi-Fi 6E. It also comes with a load of USB 3.2 ports, both the A type and the C type, and uh, you also get the uh, Lightning gaming ports. And finally, this motherboard features all of ASRock's unique features, including the SPS Dr. Moss, the 7.1 HD audio, and of course, ASRock's polychrome RGB. We'll be testing this motherboard using the AMD Ryzen 9 7900X processor, along with some nice DDR5 RAM. So let's put this into our test rig and see how it performs. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock X670E Tai Chi motherboard. It supports DDR5 RAM and PCI 5 and it's suitable for all the uh, latest AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors sitting on the AM5 socket. All right, let's take a look. It's a massive box and uh, you can see the motherboard right here uh, and then it gives you all the features of what the motherboard has. All right, let's open the box and see what we have. Oh, it's huge, this box. Okay, we have two boxes, one for the motherboard and one for the accessories. We'll take a look at the accessories first. Okay, we have a nice Tai Chi postcard. Uh, AM5 CPU installation procedure and uh, we have the uh, the user manual with all the instructions okay see what else is inside this box there you go we have a uh, USB header connect that to the motherboard gives you extra USB ports we have the uh, Wi-Fi 6e antennae a pair of SATA cables for your SSDs. You also have a uh, massive heatsink uh, with an active fan, and then you connect that to the, the motherboard if you want that active fan cooling. This is for the uh, SSD, looks like. We have a, a pair of uh, ASRock Velcro straps for cable management. And we have uh, two sets of the M.2 screws. An ASRock keycap. Uh, another set of SATA cables for SSDs. And that is it. Okay, let's take a look at the motherboard. All right, here we have the motherboard. It's a very nice motherboard. It's quite heavy again. Um, nice heat sink, massive heat shield for your SSDs and of course heatsink for your uh, VRMs, MOSFETs, very big. Take a look at the back here. It's got this uh, nice heat shield here again. Back plate for extra cooling, gives you extra stability as well for the board. All right, it's got this uh, distinctive Tai Chi design with the uh, kind of gold and uh, actual clockwork cog there. 
All right, we'll start at the top here. We have uh, two PCIe uh, power connectors for your motherboard. Uh, these are the eight pins, two of them. And uh, along here we have fan headers, three of them for your cooling, uh, two headers for your ARGB, three pin. Uh, we have uh, the ATX 24 pin power, a fan header, USB 3, and this is the type uh, E for the USB uh, 3.2 Gen 2 2x2. All right, for SATA ports, we have uh, eight, a total of eight SATA ports. And uh, we have a power on and recess switch, as well as uh, the diagnostic LEDs, more fan headers, and then we have another USB 3, USB uh, connectors here as well, ARGB connectors, both the uh, three pin and four pin, another fan header, audio output as well. It's quite heavy, got some really good components on this motherboard. All right, here we have the uh, AM5 socket for your Ryzen 7000 series processors. Notice the uh, mounting clips for your cooler. It's the same type as for your AM5, so you can use your existing cooler as well. Great. All right, let's take a look at the uh, DDR5 DIMM slots. Supporting DDR5 RAM uh, up to speeds of DDR5 6600OC. Very nice. And over here, let's take a look at the uh, PCIe 5 slots. You have two of them, PCIe 5 steel slots. Very nice. And underneath this heat shield here, you have a uh, PCIe 5 um, M.2 slots here. Things one here and two here. All right, let's take a look at the uh, I.O. Okay. All right, we'll start off on this side first. We have the BIOS flashback and the Cleese MOS button. We also have the connectors for your Wi-Fi 6E. There's HDMI. There's a 2.5 gigabit LAN and the Lightning gaming port from ASRock. We have the microphone, line out, and SP diff. We have a USB 3.2 and this USB Type C type, and uh, some more USB 3.2 ports here. All right. To test this board, we'll be using a Ryzen 9 7900X processor and uh, with some nice DDR5 RAM as well. So uh, that was a quick unboxing of the ASRock X670E Taiji motherboard from ASRock. So what's our thoughts on AMD's new AM5 platform? Well, all I have to say is, this is what I've been waiting for from AMD since the announcement of DDR5 RAM a couple of years ago, and I'm really glad they followed up on this. AMD's aging but very capable AM4 platform supporting DDR4 RAM has had its good run. So it's only natural for AMD to take up the next step and implement the support for DDR5 RAM for the new next-gen AM5 platform. And the benefits are clear. During our tests, we use an AMD Ryzen 9 7900X processor along with a GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card. We managed to pull some phenomenal scores in all of our benchmarks, including a Cinebench R23 score of 27,726 multi-core. 
and 1,908 single call. From PC Mark 10, we got a score of 9,083 and a score of 9,902 for Pass Mark 9. For UL's latest Procyon Photo Editing Benchmark, we got a score of 9,667 and 8,400 for the uh, Video Editing Suite. For 3D Mark Speedway and Port Royal, we got a score of 5,114 and 12,789 respectively. And finally, for Time Spire and Fire Strike, we got a decent score of 18,139 and 40,407 respectively. I can't fault the ASRock X670E Tai Chi motherboard. If you've been waiting to upgrade to the new AM5 platform, then the wait is finally over. This motherboard matches perfectly with all of the AMD's latest Ryzen 7000 series of processors and is absolutely packed with some great features from ASRock. Thanks to its native support for DDR5 RAM and PCI5 everywhere, in my opinion, this is the most significant next generational jump in performance for AMD. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the ASRock X670E Tai Chi motherboard featuring AMD's latest X670E chipset and suitable for all of the latest Ryzen 7000 series of processors. It's packed with features and offers amazing performance. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKid.com.